Hi there. Now, while it certainly is a challenge to find the best tools that are worthy of your hard-earned money, it isn't impossible, especially when you have a reliable source like our channel to point you in the right direction and show you the brands you can trust. Now, in preparing this list, we reviewed literally dozens of products and we based our rankings on a number of factors, including the features of the product, value for money, and the reputation of the manufacturer. We even read countless reviews from actual users. If you choose from this list, you can be sure you'll be buying one of the best tools available today. And make sure to check the product links down below in the description. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So, let's get started. Hi, this is a new Alvarez featurette. I'm Gregory Johnson, and today I'm showcasing the award-winning Artist Series. There's a reason why the Artist Series guitars have won multiple awards in the US and around the world, and have been getting really excellent reviews from players and trades. And it's because every Artist Series guitar is a truly designed instrument. Their quality is very deliberate, in fact, the goal of the design team was to create a line of solid top guitars that a professional musician would find worthy of touring and recording with, but also deliver them at an accessible price point for the everyday casual player. It's quality that surprises a lot of people picking one up for the first time. They look at the price tag and aren't expecting a guitar that feels so solid or has such balanced tone and projection. All of that comes from the remarkable amount of effort that goes into the making of every Artist Series guitar. Every model in the series is made using an A-grade Sitka Spruce or Western Red Cedar top. The woods go through the correct aging and preparation, and then there's a meticulous construction process using great components, real bone nuts and saddles, solid mahogany neck blocks, and solid maple bridge plates. A lot goes into the detailing with abalone and mother of pearl inlays, the FS2 forward shifted bracing system is completed by hand and the finish on an artist series is a nine coat process that takes 20 days to complete. It gives the guitar a deep and lasting shine but the finish is also very thin allowing the guitar to move. All of those attributes come together quite beautifully to create the artist series experience. It's a balanced and warm sounding guitar that just feels great and will last decades and decades, if not a lifetime. It's also one of the most comprehensive lines in the market, with multiple options from dreadnoughts and parlors to basses, jumbos, and a lot more. Some models you should definitely look at are the ABT60 Baritone, the AD60 CE Acoustic Electric, the AG75 CE Grand Auditorium, the AP66 SB Parlor Guitar, and the AC70 Classical. Okay, there's tons more at our website, alvarezguitars.com, and please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Thanks a lot for watching.
that I'm holding here is our Gypsy Henna. The Gypsy Series Acoustics from Luna are acoustic only guitars. We have several different profiles and these guitars are aimed at affordability and great sound for the price. Luna was very well known for its Henna laser etching on its full size acoustics. We've incorporated that on this model. This particular model is a dreadnought, so if you're upgrading from a three quarter or smaller guitar, or you're an adult or a late teen looking for your first acoustic, this is the one to have. It has a Luna neck profile, so it is easy to learn, easy to play chords. You can go to lunaguitars.com and check out the actual specifications of this guitar, but now let's take a listen.
Hi, I'm Joshua Ray Gooch, and today we're going to be checking out the new Yamaha FG Series guitars. The new Yamaha FG Series, which is the best-selling acoustic series in the world, has solid Sitka spruce tops and the same bracing pattern that was on the previous, except now they have scalloped bracing. We're going to start off with the first guitar in the FG series. This is the FG 800. Now this guitar directly replaces the FG 700 of previous years. This guitar is just, it's just a really simple, playable, great looking guitar. And the most important thing for me, especially for beginners, is that the tuners stay in tune. Some of the other features of this guitar are the solid Sitka spruce top with the scalloped bracing. It has NATO back and sides. All of these things just attribute to the playability and tone quality of this guitar. Alright, here we have the new Yamaha FG820, and this replaces the Yamaha FG720 of previous years. And just as all the other guitars in this series, it has the solid Sitka spruce top with the scallop bracing. Alright, so some of the upgraded features on this guitar are the mahogany back and sides, which adds an incredible amount of warmth to the guitar. And then also this ivory binding here, it's also an upgraded feature. And these guitars actually come in multiple color variations. And this is the um, Autumn Burst. Quite like this color. Yeah, this guitar just sounds really incredible. All right, this is the new Yamaha FG830. And as you may have expected, it replaces the Yamaha 730. So just as the other models in the series, this guitar has the solid Sitka spruce top with the scalloped bracing. But where this differs from the other guitar is the upgrade in the back and sides. So instead of mahogany, we actually have rosewood. Rosewood just sounds amazing. It adds a lot of overtones and a lot of richness to your chords that you maybe wouldn't have noticed on most other guitars that you've played before. The other change that this guitar has is the ivory binding around the headstock. As the previous guitar did, it has it along the neck. Having it along the headstock as well just gives it that extra bit of class that you may be looking for. Whether or not you're you know, strumming really big full chords or playing single note stuff, it just tends to add a lot of breath and fullness to everything that you're playing. Fill the room with a lot of life. So this is the Yamaha FG840, 
It's replacing the FG740 and has a lot in common with the FG830. It has the solid Sitka spruce top with the scallop bracing and the ivory binding along the neck and the headstock. But the biggest difference here is the back and sides. So instead of the rosewood, which the 830 has, this actually has the flame maple. And the big difference here is a little bit less sustain, which a lot of players prefer. And also it's bright. This guitar just has that brightness that can cut through the mix. All the notes in the chord really make it through to the audience. Yeah, this flame maple is just incredible. All right, here we have the new FG850. And this is not replacing any guitar. This is a brand new guitar in the line. We have the solid mahogany top here. We have mahogany back and sides with a light mahogany binding. It's just incredibly warm. Mahogany is so warm. And this guitar is unlike anything Yamaha's really ever made. I'm really impressed with it and actually had a really good time playing it. This is the Yamaha FS series guitar. This one in particular is the FS 800. The FS series is basically the little brother to the FG. And just as the FG, some upgrades have been made, such as the scalloped bracing. Another big change that they made was they actually really changed the depth. They made it quite a bit shallower than it's been in the past. I personally love the sound of small body guitars. They just fit really nice into the mix. These guitars are just exceptional all the way through the line. Mm -hmm. 